I didn't get you. Hello. I see you. You made us a fire. I did. I, mean, I was filming trying to scare you. But it oh, God. Took, it took 20 takes. Oh, I should have filmed you backing up. How are you? Good. How are you? Dude, how did you back your trailer? Dude, I, it was hard. I had trouble backing my truck in. It wasn't easy. This All place right. is pretty cool. I know. Dude, the Lex looks interesting. It looks jiggy. It looks very jiggy. I'm glad I brought black and blue. I almost didn't bring black and Dude, blue. Dude, I didn't. That's, that looks very black and blue type mm -hmm. water. Look at that point right there. She's with the launch right here. I don't think we can um, though. We can, but we'll have to go take a look at the lake down there. It looks good. It looks like Shasta. It does look like Shasta. It's like a tiny Shasta. It feels like Shasta. Freezing it and raining. It feels exactly like Shasta. Welcome, folks. This looks like we'll fall. Yeah, I don't think we should go should down, we that go down that way. No, definitely not. We're back. It feels like we're at Shasta. Tournament season. Pretty cool. This normally would be a Shasta tournament, but it is not. This is a better drive for me than Shasta. We're at Rollins Lake, at the Rollins Lake Inn and Resort right on the lake. It's a resort. Friday night, first tournament of the year. A little different, a new series, Yakabass Gambler Series. So it's a totally new format. And the biggest thing is no pre-fish. I think 30 day cutoff. So unless you fished 30 days ago, you're going in blind. You just got here night before the tournament. Rollins Lake right here. It looks beautiful. It looks like a tiny Shasta and an Oroville. It's like a Shasta Oroville mix, but more Shasta. -y. So Mike and I obviously just pulled up. What time is it, Mike? Five o'clock. The only other participants from the crew coming tonight are Dutchie, Coach, and Santa. Mr. Aldi Waldi is on baby alert. Baby Mike Jr. This is really steep. It's like you could walk your kayak down there if you want. Like, uh, they weigh like 300 pounds. <laughs> like, no, not our kayaks. Oh, the other thing too is I left and it was like 60 degrees. Right now it's 36 degrees. The weather is a little bit different. Yeah. Look at the lake. Oh, oh there's one on a bed. Oh yeah, they're spawning. Looks real jiggy. jiggy. It looks real black and blue jiggy. Yeah. This lake looks really cranky and jiggy. Tennessee in a way. Yeah. Yeah, it does have like that feel, feel yeah. to it. That's it. The drone's back. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, got my part 107. I'm official. You got your drone license. Pretty much. I like the looks of this place. I hope it doesn't get too crazy windy. It's not a big lake. No, it's, not. it's really tiny actually. TV on in that one. There's a TV. Oh, Terrence is here. Oh. Santa. I think I had the other camera on inside. Oh, really? Yeah, I Probably think so. He might have done something. Dirty. PG-13. Santa? Go. Oh. Yeah. Nah. Santa's here. Why don't you turn the lights off? Ho, 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 mother sucker. What's up, mother sucker? Why are you in the dark? I just came in. I had to I had to pee so bad. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, buddy? How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. We yeah. just took a, a little gander down by the water. Dude, it's yeah, sick. It like, looks like a tiny Shasta. I know. It's going to be so fun. It looks it's, real uh, jiggy. I thought it would be clearer than it is. We were just it's saying that. Yeah. I brought black and blue just in case trailers and jigs. Because I was thinking, what if it's dirty when we get up there? I did not. I brought all normal colors. It's gonna be chilly tomorrow morning. Dude, it's cold down there. Yeah. What kind of trailers you got where, there? Black. Did, hmm? did you guys uh, figure out where we're gonna launch though? I don't know. I'm gonna go up to that one up here. All right. You wanna bring stuff in? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the parking's a little weird, but okay. she said down there you guys could park. Okay. Until tomorrow night because the guys aren't getting here tonight. I think you're fine. I feel like I'm gambling. Yeah, you are gambling. <laughs> right, let me climb in there. Like, well, get in there, little guy. Hey, fella. Pinner fella. <laughs> Nothing, we're hanging out in the cabin. Where are you? I am in Williams. 
Oh, dude, you got two hours to go. All right. Well, drive safe. Yeah, I got. <laughs> no, no. Well, you're gonna need them. It's freezing. If it comes across, grab then. some for all of us. We'll give you hands. Oh, hands. I got these. They probably won't keep them warm. But well, I used to up to work. They work a little bit, though. Better than nothing. Yeah. Hey, welcome. Welcome, Dutcher. How are you, fellas? Good. Good, how are you? Feel better now? Uh, wore out. Good to see you. I didn't bring, I forgot. I forgot everything. I forgot <laughs> everything. I've got rods, and I actually tied new leaders on them this morning before I went to bed, because I knew if I didn't, I was never going to. <laughs> come on in, come on in, it's cold out here. Hi, Dutcher. Hey! How are you? Good, how are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Glad you made it. We needed one more person in here to keep the house yeah. warm. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to make it there for a while. I almost turned around and the Yuba City went home. Really? On the verge of a metal breakdown. You that tired, dude? I'm tired and. Uh, everything's just. <laughs> We're going to a different place. You're going. Are away. we all going to the same place? I think we might as well tomorrow. Yeah, but so the we lady. all have to go to the same place on Sunday, and that's the one that's $24. You have to have the exact change. Why do we all have to go there? You don't because have to, it's you don't shotgun have to launch. lunch on Sunday. You don't have to launch Oh, there. what? Yeah. Open launch on Saturday, shotgun on Sunday. Are you serious? Yes. Wait, then why someone... wouldn't we go to that launch tomorrow? I don't know. Because it's $24. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad someone reads the rules. Where are you finding all these rules? Uh, In the rules. Someone want to send James a text just asking him? It's on the X page. Yeah, it's on the... Read the turn X thing. But yeah, no, it's this uh is what Alden's for, dude. I don't, I don't like doing this. <laughs> like, I don't like Someone call this. Alden. Someone call Alden. Call yeah, Alden call. relay the call message. Alden. We need the team's mom's like, okay. idea. What's up, Hey Alden! Hey everybody. We all miss you. Oh, I miss you guys too. But that's not why we're calling. <laughs> We need an official rule reader because yeah, without the team guy. mom slash rule guy here, we don't know what's going on. We don't know where it launches, what time we launch. We don't know anything. We're asking us like, where's Aldi? And they said we should call him. Did you guys not read the text message I sent to you? Yes. Uh, I was driving. But d does that mean on you Sunday you have to launch more. from there? I believe so. Oh my goodness. I told them that. They're like, no. And I was like, yeah. And then they're like, call Aldi. Have you guys on Turney X to read it? Yeah, no, we're gonna. We thought we called we you first. You're the team mom. We need you I to. Know. This is what your job here is. I'll be honest, I'm probably not gonna wake up tomorrow. And then when I get there, I'll be like, dude, what time's checking all that? It's gonna be hard. Sage, you're missed, Aldi. We need you for the uh, keeping us in order. When's, uh, are you guys doing good? You're uh, on guard? He's gonna come before. Eight days max. Come on, little buddy, get out of there. Oh, man, I spent the last three days tying like 60 Dicks. Are you gonna bring so CJ to the next tournament? Coach Junior. Some of them. You don't throw a jig, you throw a... Oh, oh God. he I said the kid, dude. That's why he said some of them. I'm like, oh, the one that's still living in your ball. <laughs> just wait till he comes out and he looks just like me. You're like, what the hell? The gecko lies. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we miss you, Aldi. Uh, I miss you guys, too. We'll see you at party. See you at okay. 20, in 2035. We'll we're lost without you. What are you doing? Hey, they call it the Gambler Series for <laughs> Yeah, we're gambling that we're even going to wake up in the morning. <laughs> Ollie, we'll let you go. All right. All right. See you Bye, Ollie. Thanks, man. Later. Bye. All right, perfect segue into the tournament, first tournament of 2024. Yeah, is he on the camera? He yeah. is. Yeah, he's in. Am I in? Am I yeah. in the screen? What did I say the other day on that guy's post? On the eye candy for the ladies in these videos. That's oh, crazy. really? Oh, nice. That's, uh, that's probably true. But no, first tournament of 2024, Yakabass Gambler Series. The one thing that I found out is you can't pre-fish for 30 days before. I was asking, like, what time is everyone getting there to pre-fish today? And then I was informed that you can't do that. No pre-fish, kind of a cool format. I mean, usually we'd be here a day in advance and we'd pre-fish and then we'd all, like, come back with our notes. Usually what happens is I pre-fish and go, yeah, I figured it out. This is the best day ever. And then Saturday happens and then I'm like, skunk. Good. 
So, also, too, I, I would say, uh, which is kind of cool, is uh, kind of different bodies of water than we normally yeah. fish. Rollins Lake. Rollins. It's by uh, Colfax. It's uh, a little north of Sacramento. I've never even seen it. I think a lot this. of people fish this place. Uh, well, I've never fished it. I know people that have fished it. But you're not a person. Fish. Yes. That's a small fish. Factor. I'll prove you wrong tomorrow. A lot I'm of wood. Sure a lot of laid down wood. This is what I wanted to get into with something like this. Higher stakes, it's kind of a level playing field. This is a, more of a serious deal. What? Yeah, this, this is like I those... disagree. <laughs> this is the same thing as Yakubass to me. It just costs a couple more bucks. And I like the no pre-fishing. You know, when you pre-fish, you can kind of just check everything out. Now we're, we're like pull into this cabin we're staying in and you look down, it's got a view of the lake. And water's pretty stained. I didn't be, bring any uh, dark colors. Yeah, I figured it was kind of foothills of the Sierras. Water would be a little clean. I know it's been raining a little bit lately, but... Um, I thought it was going to be gin clear. Yeah, it's it's pretty stained. So you'll see tomorrow on Greg's video, and hopefully we all smash him. Hopefully. I mean, who knows? Literally, we're going in blind. Everyone's going in blind. Yeah. You can hear the crowd going wild from here. <sighs> we're all assuming it's going to be drop shot and jig fishing. Jig. You know what's weird? What's weird? First intro oh, tournament of the year, and I feel like it's not taking that long. I think we've honed our skills. I'm getting ready to go to sleep all day. <laughs> this tournament season, it's exciting. We're back at it. Guess what? It's going to be better than working. Yeah. Guys, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. First tournament of the year. 7.30 tournament tournament tomorrow year. morning. Let's go. I'm the master baiter. What are you guys wearing today? I'm gonna wear my bibs. I'm wearing my jammies. Yeah. Let's go back to bed. <laughs> Dude, that would be a good idea. Wear oh. pajamas. Hey, Red. Mm hmm. What are you saying? Is that a chance? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. You as well. All right, good morning, folks. Running a hair late. God, I feel like I'm always running late for these first tournaments of the year. Stay up too late, probably have a couple too many beers, but man, the excitement, first tournament of the year, it always gets us, so what can I say? It's probably gonna be a tradition every year from here on out, first tournament of the year. Just getting back in the swing of things, but here we are, Rollins Lake, day one, about a 10 minute drive from the cabin. We decided to launch up north, but just to reiterate some of the things that we said or maybe didn't say, two day event, we can launch at 7.30. We can also make our first cast at 7.30, eight hour tournament, last cast, 3.30 off the water. Check that Attorney X by 4 o'clock. And uh, pending what the weather's like tomorrow, assuming it's a go, we'll have another day identical tomorrow and then an award ceremony. It's super foggy. I have no idea what to expect with this body of water, this lake. It is cold conditions, but I think uh, that's going to add to the fun. Like we said, it's a gambler series. I'm just pulling in. I'm going to get set up and uh, I'll see you guys out on the water. First tournament of 2024. Here we go. Black and blue jiggy. I'm sitting in a 50 foot right here. That's actually where we're staying right there. This lake is not very big. Pretty skinny. This part of it at least. 47.8 degree water temp. Try to go over actually. Right below me. There's fish down to 30. Some activity already. Look at that. Looks like there might be fish down there, though.
Where is it? Drop shot. Oh, there's a little fella. Take him. Oh, that's a winter fish right there. Pale and cold. Oh boy. Hey, around the boat. Oh wait, no, we're not. 14 inch minimum? That's not 14. I can't remember, did we say 14 inches last night? Uh, just out of curiosity, let's put him on the board. Curious. Even though I don't think this is a scorable one, it's a hint. Maybe these fish want a drop shot. They're you know, shallower than I thought. Oh. I if I had my identifier up. I don't think that counts, but... Give me a little reference. Huh? No skunk, but I don't think it counts. Could be a clue, though. Could be. That was only in the 20 foot. It wasn't that deep. Oh no, I have one. Dang it. Shoot. Shallow though. Another one probably in, geez, maybe 20? Maybe? A lot of craziness going on down there. Meaning a lot of trees to get stuck on. Definitely just want to get a limit today. That's all I'm asking for. Hopefully figure out enough to expand on it tomorrow. We'll see though. Doesn't look to be as straightforward as I thought it might be. That's a hint. Guarantee that's a hint. That means something. That means something. There's a keeper. Alrighty, I like that. And the good thing is, that didn't take long to get bit on that crankbait, so I don't think that's a coincidence. 14. They definitely want this bait, like for sure. That's exciting. Just cooperate for me. Sixteen and a quarter. Those are the right kinds. Boy, back in tournament mode, that rush never, never fails. Oh man, shallow. I don't know exactly why these fish are so shallow. Some of them are. Oh man, the juices are flowing right now. The juices are flowing.
Hello? What's up, bro? Nothing, you? Uh, no, I... Nothing? Uh, you haven't caught any yet? Yeah, I caught three. What? Only two keepers, though. Only two over 14. I think I'm in the wrong spot of the lake. I'm, I'm out here all by myself. And, uh, oh, hang on, Dutch. <laughs> hang on, I got another one. I'm on to something here. Hang on. I don't know if this one's gonna keep though. All right, let me call you back there, buddy, okay? Oh, it's a long one. Let me call you back. Dude, that one's so skinny, but he's long. Don't you just call me the F word? It's Karma Dutch. Dude, I think that's a 14 incher. Yeah, that's 14. He's gonna keep. Holy smokes. He's like really skinny. I wonder if he bit. He's so hungry. Man, these fish are acting so funny though. They're like choking this crankbait. Number three. Here we go. Yeah, gotcha. I'll call you back later. I got fish to catch here. Doesn't happen often, but we're onto something pretty early on, which is exactly what you want in this format. Probably what we're doing the majority of the tournament now. Unless something really changes. I'll let that sit there. That was crazy. I might need to pick up a jerk bait. How crazy is that? That literally tells you exactly how these fish want it. Super duper slow. We got 14. So. fish that I feel like just moved up. Like they don't seem like they should be this shallow. I think they probably came up from deeper water and are just feeding up on this bank right here. You can just tell by the way they are, the way they look, the color. I think they're just kind of sitting around this wood or this timber, maybe in the rocks. Yeah, I literally let that crankbait just suspend as I got a sip of water and one came up and ate it. I don't know if they're up here rooting around for crawfish or what, but definitely just slow rolling this over these trees. Taking a branch here and there and they'll come and get it. It's very fun. Very fun bite. No, no, no. Don't lose this bait. Do not want to lose this bait. I got a few extras, but. Uh, one I want to lose right now. It's really hard. Come on, little knocker. Gosh. The best investments you can make. A little plug knocker. A three pack for like 10 bucks or whatever it is. Just save the bait. It paid for itself right there. Exactly what we want though. Just come over a log or through a tree and have one of these fish just come out and whack it. And they're, they're eating it good. They're not shy about it. Could be a timing deal too. Just finding that right group of fish that move up on a bank, feed up, and then they might jam out. You just don't know if they're going to be there all day. I don't think they are, so ah, it's tricky. And this happened one other time to me. It was actually this time of year at Orville. Cold winter day. The only way I could get bit was on this exact crankbait. I think it was chartreuse though. But they were all fish that looked just like this, real pale. You could tell they had been deep. And they had just come up and started feeding on the bank. And I was catching them in like five to six foot, just like today. Looking for that fifth though. Still looking for number five. As always, number one and number five. The first and the last are the hardest ones to catch.
Gambler series. Oh my goodness gracious. Number five. Thank you, sir. It's a good one, too. That's a nice one right there. Five, baby. Wow, we actually have a decent little bag right now. Our two small ones are 14 and a half and 14 and a quarter. I'm gonna actually wait. I'm not gonna submit them just yet. I'm trying to get rid of those 14 and a halfers. And then we'll go from there. Oh, baby. Now we need the kicker fish. If we can get rid of those two 14, what, 14 and a half to 14 and a quarter with a couple of 17s. Shoot, maybe even like an 18, 19. I'd assume that would be good. I haven't looked at the leaderboard yet. I'm not going to look at the leaderboard. I'll look at it around 12 or so. I don't really want to know what everyone else is doing. Not right now. I want to keep focusing on our game plan, catching them how we know we can, and then we'll assess the situation later. I do think right now this is a way to get a big bite too. Oh, a little one. I think it's a little one. Could be getting too overzealous here, not netting these fish. But that one is not gonna call. Negative. They're still biting the crankbait, though. Well, 10.16, we got a lot more time to fish. Five hours, 45 more minutes to fish. Let's cover some new water, explore more of this lake. It's really not that big. I feel like we can cover a lot of it in one day. We might as well do it now, today, while the conditions are nicer. But just to get spicy, let's check the standings. Said I wouldn't do it this early, but I can't help myself. Granted, this is a, you know, a tournament where you can upload up until 4 o'clock today, so it doesn't reflect what people have per se, i.e. me. I haven't submitted anything, but oh, look at that. Look who's in first right now. I know that guy. Right below everyone's name is the biggest fish they've scored, so you know what? There's actually some decent fish. Oh, Terrence. Terrence with an 18 and a half. All right, so there's some 18s in this lake. Wow, but only 11 people have uh, submitted fish. A little surprising. not hooking up now. What in the world? Man, that one like smoked it. I know there's no tree or stump there. I can see it on the 360. There's nothing in front of me. How did that fish not get a hook? I think maybe the same one. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a giant. It's a giant spot. It's a giant spot. It's a kicker. Come on, do not screw this up, dude. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That is what I'm talking about. I wonder if that was the same fish. That's a good one. Yeah, 
look uh, look at the way he ate that bait. That's that's how you know they want the bait right there. That is what we needed. Not a gigantic kicker, but it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Go. Those are the kind we need right there. One or two more of those and things will be interesting for day one. I really do wonder if that was the same fish that crushed the bait and I missed it and it came back. I, I don't know. Whew. That helps our cause for sure though. Whew, that was a key fish right there. I'm so glad that one didn't come off. Key fish got the limit called up once now next goal I mean we're progressing with goals but our next goal is to hit 80 inches I don't know exactly what we have right now but it's got to be I might have 79 or so I do got to get rid of that 14 and a half ideally with another 17 inch fish or so but I don't want to get too greedy now these fish are. You could feel a really small one second and then just all of a sudden make a surge and you realize it's so much bigger. Opposite is true too. You can have a really big feeling fish on it. It could just be a little one. Just got to be careful with every single bite. I can't tell. I can't tell. I literally can't tell. This is the weirdest fighting fish. Is it a bass? Oh, it's a bass. I don't know if it's gonna call though. Oh shoot, I probably shouldn't have flipped him. Look how pale that fish is. I think that might call. That might call our 14. 14 and a half that is. See? Again, look how pale these fish are. Like these fish were deep not too long ago. It's just for whatever reason today they're shallow. I'm gonna need them to stay shallow too. Be shallow for me tomorrow. And I'll call. I think she'll call. Every inch counts. 15. Nice. Now 1257, almost one o'clock. Two and a half hours more to fish. And I think I gotta get rid of a 15 now. I think I got a couple of 15s in there. Still looking for that one more 17, 18 inch fish. I think that will be huge. Put us in a really good position tomorrow. Just, I think they're gonna be hard to come by. I mean, who knows, but that would just be a huge bonus right now to get a, another 17, 18 incher. Could happen. It's gotta run across the right one. interesting. Good thing I'm fishing in less than five foot. Well it is 2.30 just about. An hour left to fish. Day one. And the bite has definitely slowed down which is interesting. I thought it improved by the afternoon. Water temp got a little warmer. Actually got a little warmer outside. A little sun. But it seems that the bike shut down and I think, I'm guessing, a lot of those fish that I was catching on the crankbait earlier, I don't think they're on the bank as much. They must have pulled off or something. I mean, there could be some more and we just gotta find the right area. But for some reason, definitely has slowed down. I even went through a couple of the areas that I caught some fish earlier and didn't really have much luck. Maybe picked up eight fish or two, but I would go deeper, but my graphs are off. And definitely the battery, because I have no power whatsoever. So I must have just forgot to charge my battery. <laughs> 
so don't think I'm gonna be venturing deep. I don't really want to fish deep blind. So maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's the fishing gods telling me that I need to stop looking at my grass and just keep this crankbait in my hand for the last hour and beat that five to six, we'll say five to seven foot range with it. I do think even though the bite has slowed down, I still believe this is the best way to get a, a big bite. I don't think I'd do myself any favors, you know, picking up a drop shot and dragging it across a point or something like that. I think though this is the less likely bait to get bit on right now, I still think if we do get a bite, there's a much better chance it'll be a, a quality fish. Big call, but it is a call. Oh, it's actually a lot longer than I thought. Cold fish. Oh, I like this one. I think this is a good one. Nice 16. All right. Call this an inch. Yep, keep cranking. an inch, an inch that I will take. Definitely should have lost that fish. I stabbed it and I hooked the, the bait with the net and the fish totally should have come off. Got lucky there. That's good, that's good. That's good. Feels real good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh boy, is that a bass? It has to be. bigger. I thought it was way bigger. It's barely hooked. You know what? I don't think that's going to do anything. Man, he fought like he was a giant. Gotta get rid of a 15 and a quarter. Nope. That's exciting. Got the juices flowing. Definitely got the juices flowing. I thought that was our big kicker. You know, I just did something really stupid. That was a questionable fish, whether it was going to cull or not, and I didn't net it. Note to self and note to everyone else. Do not get too nonchalant. There's even a slight chance it could help your score. Treat it like it's a 10 pounder. Every fish you have to treat like it's going to make the world a difference. And I didn't do that for that fish. I just kind of grabbed the line and swung him in. And that was a dumb thing to do because it could have cost me. Interesting. It's not even rain, that's hail. Day one over. Got the limit, upgraded a few times, and more importantly, figured a little something out. Yeah, I'll be interested to uh, see what the standings are after day one. I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty tight in the top 15, top 10. Who knows, maybe someone will uh, submit a pretty big bag, but a limit, a decent limit, still in the hunt for tomorrow. So let's uh, head to the ramp, we'll load up, and we'll meet back at the cabin. Good start so far.
Hey guys. Hey. Welcome home. Welcome home. Hi, Dutcher. Oh, cool, Dutcher just left these touching each other all day. It's so blow the fears. Nice to meet you, Glad I could help. Pro tour, bro. We did good today. We did pretty well. Even Dutcher did good. Huh? Old Dutchie. That's my boy Dutcher. Dutcher definitely did not good today. <sighs> good morning, number one. There's old number one, Terrence. Terrence Sully, number one in the yeah. house. Never been able to say that. My kids are like, no way. And I'm like, yeah, but I got tomorrow. Yeah, we got, we got a whole day to go. <laughs> I thought everyone was sandbagging, honestly. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I figured there'd be a few people that rolled in with something. But no. Five dudes skunk today. From 21st on down, either one fish or no fish. First thing this morning, right here in the cove, this cove, I cast it on the bank, reeled it out about, I'm guessing, three feet. Oh, I was like, no way. So excited. Get in, Michael. Come on, Mikey. Hi, everyone. Get in here. Day one. 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 Solid day one. Solid day one. Solid day. Solid day. Like all them presents I distributed last month. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to say it right now. You're day one leader. Day, day one, one leader. leader. By quarter inch. <laughs> well, hey, you're, you're leading, dude. I like it. That's, uh, that's awesome, dude. This is the first time you led a tournament, right? On day one? Or yes. Yep. Not to you know call you out, but we'll say it. You've never won a tournament, right? I've never won a tournament. Never won a tournament. No. So obviously Tomorrow there's your day. Yeah, there's another day left, but you're in first place right now. We found a little, little, little something, something. And let's just go through the day. We're drinking three Starting different drinks. Here. Coach, not you? good. I'm the only one in the house that stinks. Well, you got three fish, though, didn't I you? I got three fish, yeah, but that's good though. You caught three. I got three. I caught. So in this tournament is 14 inch minimum, and I caught at least six fish that were over 13 but under 14. That sucks. Yeah, I caught quite a few fish, but it's not quite big enough. But I'll keep it short and sweet. My day went pretty good. I think the whole point of these events, these tournaments, the Gambler Series, without any pre-fish is to see who can figure out a pattern or a bite quickest, obviously, just to get on some fish and have a good showing both day one and day two. And I found a bite. I found a pattern. I will say, like, last night, all of us were so excited about jig fishing. Yeah, and I didn't get a I bite. Get, I I maybe go. got a bite. Yeah, I mean, so no jig fish for me. So we all obviously caught limits and caught fish, but I think it's very similar. Cranking. I was cranking in probably six to eight foot it's a berkeley money badger it's a red crankbait for me you know it was funny a couple of my bites were literally when i'd reel in i'd stop the bait i'd get a drink of water or do something else i'd pick up my rod there'd be a fish on it. yeah wow it was getting a bit on the pot a lot too. of the times i would reel it over a limb and it would just kind of you know caress the limb so to speak yeah. and then boom get a bit so all right it, now i know what i need to do tomorrow <laughs> yeah. you, you're beating me so I i'm interested I to see what you were yeah I, I was a uh, underspin right. and super shallow well my biggest fish was literally i was probably six twelve inches off the shoreline where the bait landed and it was two cranks and bam crazy and that, that was crazy. that was like maybe two or three casts after my first fish which was a I think a 16, maybe 16 and a half, and then an 18 and a half. And my third fish, super shallow. So shallow for me, shallow all, for you. All my fish came Mike out. Mike, you know what? Yeah. Gotta give Mike a shout out. Mike's in, in he's tied for third. Fourth, yeah. Well, he's technically yeah. tied, for, tied third. for third. Tied for third. Yeah, Mike. All my fish early morning. I figured it out. Right in the cove, right out yeah, here. Yeah, right in front of the place. Crankbait, foot of water. Cranking, really. You know, that's funny because I think we all have this preconceived notion that this time of year, slow, deep, I was fishing really slow though. Just to give a little quick recap, 34 anglers in this tournament. Santa's sitting in first, I'm Woo! in second. Mike's in fourth. Dutch, even though you only got three fish, you're still sitting in 17th. 17th. So you're halfway there. Some yeah. of the fish I caught were so cold. You're, you touch them, they're, oh, yeah. they're frozen. So here's here's the one thing I'm, I'm nervous about. The Front. way these fish were, the way they look, they're cold, they're pale. Yeah. You can tell they had just moved up from deep water. I don't know if they're going to be there tomorrow. Yeah, because it, it was it, it was hailing during a portion of the tournament. But yeah. also we're getting a massive cold front, so yeah. weather front coming through tonight. The problem could be for us three especially, if those fish Adapting. move back out deep, then we gonna the bite, well, we have to adapt, but the bite could change. There could be a totally different pattern tomorrow. I'm hoping not. I think it's going to change. You think so? Yeah. I mean, starting literally, starting at midnight tonight. Can you tell me what to raining. throw first thing in the morning? Yeah, I will. <laughs> I can tell you what to do. First thing in the morning, put on your rain gear. 
Yeah. yeah it's going to be... Uh, it's supposed to be a nasty day anymore. It's exciting. Well, uh, first tournament of the year, the Gambler Series. Yeah. Dan, you're in first. I'm excited to get out there for day two in some crazy yeah. conditions. Let's cheer this. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! Yes. Yes. So that would be a major disadvantage for me. <laughs> well, folks, give you a little update. It is 7 a.m. Sunday morning, and you can see we are not on the water. Day two canceled. Crazy weather. I got the uh, notification last night. Mike actually left earlier this morning. He's tried to beat the storm home, so that's why he's not here. First and foremost, congratulations, Santa. Thank you. Santa, thank you. Oh, is a champion. I, I think it's not official official, it's, but it's official it's in this official. house. Day one results are the final results, yep. so congrats, Santa. Your first win. First win. I know it's a little weird. It didn't happen maybe the way yeah. you thought, but yeah, hey, a, a win's a win. Mixed emotions on it. Um, a win's a win. Yeah, win is a win. Yeah. How's it feel? Uh, good. <laughs> Just waking up and getting my coffee in me. Uh, glad I'm not having to rig up a kayak outside, but um, I'll uh, I'll savor it. Finally got some hardware to put up on the wall. Yeah, right. So. We'll do the official celebration at our next tournament, which is actually only just like two weeks from now at Oroville. That's the Yakabass opener, yep. home of uh, Sierra Nevada Brewery too. Yep. Chico. Uh, my my stomping grounds. Your stomping grounds. So I guess after winning this one, the pressure's all on me. It's all on you. Dude. Dude. You gotta back it up at your home. I've fished out there about four months. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if you won a Orville? You'd be leading AOI for both the Gambler series and your oh, pass. I'd have to screenshot that. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. You never know. So what do we think of the format? First of its kind. First time, obviously, doing it. The Gambler series. No pre-fish up until, well, 30 days before the first day of the tournament. I Gosh. like it. This is the type of thing I wanted to be a part of. It's higher money. 30 days off limit. Everybody pretty much has a fair shot. I agree. Uh, did you like it, Santa? Yeah, I did. Uh, I enjoyed it. I liked it, too. I thought it was cool. I'm definitely down to keep fishing this one as many as we can do all season. Yeah. Good start to tournament season 2024. Missing a few pieces of the crew, but uh, I'm sure they'll be back at some point. Yep. Congrats, Santa. Thank Good you. Good job, man. Thanks. Happy Thanks. for you. Thanks. <laughs>